when I'm here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it really helps out to know that there's someone that I can, they can pick up and play with me, although we've not practiced or we've not played together. It's, it's amazing how a guy can just pick up and go along with me, although we, we never play together, only when I'm here. Mm -hmm. but he's just a real, he's just a real musician, guy is. Have, have you got plans to, to go and do, like, this fall and the winter? Are you going to be doing more concerts and festivals? No, I don't. Uh, I think in November, that's the last one that I've got scheduled. Mm -hmm. That's to be back here. That's the mm -hmm. last one for this winter that I know that I'll be on. But I've mm -hmm. traveled all over the summer. All summer I've been to Washington Festival. I lived there and went to New Hampshire to their festival. And and then I went back home, and about two weeks later, I believe it was, I went to Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Do you like traveling? Yeah, I do. How do you like life on the road, being a musician? I love it. <laughs> it's a lot different from what oh, we did before. Yeah, it's a lot different. I, I love, I've always made, see, I've always wanted to travel and play music. That's why I would love for Daddy to have a, Quit the mines, but he would tell me, he said he'd rather work in the mines than anything ever done in his life. Although he loved music, he loved playing, and he and he just loved, we'd have Flannery reunions and we'd get these big trucks and two or three of them and we'd go top of the big black mountain and the musicians would sit back next to the cab in the truck bed and the dancers would dance up in front. Uh -huh. I was too small to get up in the truck so to dance. So when they, they all knew how I learned to dance. And I was just a child. But whenever they'd start that music, they would pick me up and set me up in that truck. And I remember it so well. They'd say, now go to it once. And they'd start playing, and I'd start dancing. <laughs> I've seen you dance with a cast on your leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I hopped on one foot. That tickled yeah. everybody. <laughs> Lois get hears the music start going. She starts going no matter what. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, what? What kind of things? Like, what did you do in the last few years before you started playing music? What What's it like living up in Close Flint, Kentucky? Well, there's nobody back there that plays music the way I do. That That really would like to make their life. Um, they're living like that. There's mm -hmm. just nobody. And uh, I'm just a loner. I've been a loner in my music all my life, ever since, well, ever since I've uh, been playing. Mm -hmm. At home, um, Daddy never played. I never played with Daddy because others was always there. Like uh, your brothers and uh, your aunt? my aunt, My uncles. Mm -hmm. And they were, you know, we just didn't fool with a child mm -hmm. uh, to play because they were so much better. And I was just learning as I grew up, mm -hmm. trying to play, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I played uh, after I married on, on up till Mary and Don got teenagers. I played by myself. Mm -hmm. Did, and you taught them to play too? Yeah, yeah I taught them when everybody was too small to make a chord. Mm -hmm. And I'd have to place, place their fingers on the frets, you know, and show them. And every day I made them practice. And then after they got up, they began to I taught them time. And then after they got to learning the chords and could make them on their own, then they, I guess they was just had the talent and gifted to it too. And they just picked it up and went on. Mm -hmm. And they are wonderful guitar players, each one of them. And they both live in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And Larry, he plays the piano. He plays by ear. He he. He's just from one end of it to the other, don't know any music. Mm -hmm. But Don never did like the piano. He always liked the guitar. Do they like you being out playing music? They, they're just, they're just thrilled to death that all this, this has come to me. Mm -hmm. They, they just, they'll say, "Mommy, you go on and uh, enjoy yourself, have a good time," and they're just, they're just tickled to death for me. I can call them after I go back home on a trip. I call them, and they're just telling them all about my trip, you know. Mm -hmm. They're just so happy for me. 
What, what does the rest of your family think about it? The ones that live, like your sis, you got a sister that lives down the street for Yeah, you? uh huh. She, uh, she keeps my little dog for me whenever I have to, <laughs> when I have to go away. And um, she, she likes, she, she thinks this is nice that it's happening to me. Mm -hmm. And she's willing to help me anytime. Keeping my dog for me, she'll help me all she can. Huh? Good. <laughs> Tippy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tippy is her name. You want to play something on the guitar? A banjo? Or how about a tune? Well, if, if I can. <laughs> what would you want? Anything particular? Mm -hmm. There's one I remember you did on the banjo, but I think it's on the banjo. Just any, anything you'd like to play. What's your favorite song on the guitar? I don't have one. <laughs> well? <laughs> I don't have a favorite song. I've got a favorite banjo piece, but uh, I don't have a favorite guitar piece. I love hymns. I love ballads. And um, would you like to have a hymn? Yeah, that'd be fun. Jesus. 